enough. Okay. Need more. We need more coming out from PSGL today. They'll be first pick again this time around, sick and uh, dire again. So we have the exact same scenario last time. Last time they banded out Broodmother and Morphling, where Quest banded out Undying and Broodmother. Wow, I wrote it down wrong. They both banned Brood on my notes, so that's definitely not how that's happened. That's not possible. Shoot. That is not possible, but that doesn't mean I have no idea. Yeah, there you go. Two Brood Mothers. <laughs> ah, close one. Close one. We do have the Timber Saw banned out by PSGLZD. They don't want to give it, they don't want to pick it. I, I respect that. Like, sometimes you just have to acknowledge the other team understands the hero better than you do. Yeah. This is not a time to showcase, so you just have to hit it and ban it. Yeah, we saw Liquid do the same thing yesterday against Tundra, I believe it was, where they just didn't know what to do to deal with uh, one of their picks, and they just gave up. They're like, yeah, we'll just ban it this game. Don't, don't know what to do. I like how Amar just performs like insanely well under the pressure. Like to, today is like the most pressure they can get right there. Like mm -hmm. if they Far keep on, uh, you know, having this hope for the TI, like this is like elimination matches. It's like this is where it gets serious right now. You make mistake, you're out. Yeah. And he's been like performing super well. And especially like even yesterday, he was like playing Brood Mother. Even though it was like a horrible world map game, he was just still like outstandingly performing that game. As the youngest player in the tournament as well. He is? 18. I feel wow. like I feel like straight up for better or for worse, this guy just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> like you feel it in his pubs, you feel it in his games, like he cares about one thing. It also what is he's owning. Oh I'm, I'm yeah. saying like he just he's just vibing. I feel like this guy's in his own universe. Like yeah. he I'm not saying he doesn't care about winning, he's not trying. I'm saying like there's no extraneous thoughts going on in his head. He's just playing the Dota hero, and that is something to be valued, and it's honestly very difficult to achieve. So I wonder, you know, how did he achieve this Zen at age 18? It doesn't really seem like Zen when you're in a pub with him, but to some extent, uh, being being able to just pick whatever and trust yourself to, to vibe on it, whether or not you're in a Monkey King offlane, a Slark offlane, uh, I definitely respect that. Having that confidence, for sure. To me, it seems like from the outside, he has like a lot of testosterone going on for him, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he has like this amount of confidence that, uh, you know, not a lot of other players have mm. the same way he does. I agree. It allows him to play the way he does uh, on the edge and on never really, well, very rarely falling on the other side of the edge, that is. I mean, he does have a history of, you know, like getting somewhat blamed for only having a very small hero pool, right? But I guess the way he tackled that issue is if I still want to play the heroes I want to play, then I guess I'll be super confident. Doesn't matter what matchup I have to deal with, doesn't matter what kind of draft I have to play in, I'll just do well. I think that's not a bad approach at all. And if you achieve it, then great, you did it. But otherwise, it's kind of like what uh, other people usually do. Oh, I guess I have to learn a new hero now. But he didn't learn a new hero, he played Brute and he kind of did. Yeah. A few heroes he had it. Like, from his time in Enigma, he learned how to play Slark Carry, and he translated that knowledge into his offlane uh, right now. And uh, I mean, on top of that, he learned how to play Broodmother, which is kind of nice. Yep. Ten seconds also, he, he yeah. wasn't playing Doom as much before, right? He was not. He definitely learned that like yeah. six months ago. Because so There's like Doom three new heroes game. on top of his uh, usual hero. Oh, I mean, I would doubt in like two or three years from now that that he's going to be a very well-rounded player. A lot of these pro players, the reason why they have such in-depth hero pools is I, I've learned that the way they approach the game is that there's always going to be three or four heroes that are really strong in, in your role in a given patch, and they just they just spam those heroes. Like They're like, this is the meta. We have to play these heroes if we want to win these games. So you give that five years, yeah. that's 20 different metas. Suddenly, your hero pool is very vast, and you can kind of just call upon your previous knowledge. It's like, yes, heroes get patched, buffed, nerfed, but at the end of the day, a good Primal Beast game is a good Primal Beast game, right? Yeah. To me, he's very similar to Queen we talked about, right? Where they choose like their specific pool of heroes, and they improve not like in terms of these heroes, but in terms of like overall general mechanics of the game. And that's what makes them so good and so stable, in my in my view. And that's what makes uh, PSGL D ban out all the offliners. I mean, you kind of at this point you have to have a pool of seven heroes. Wait, wait, wait! Why did they ban Beastmaster? Yeah, yeah, that's not an Amar hero. We're still worried about it. That's kind of um... is Primal Beast an Amar hero? Oh no, that's yeah. for the mid laner. That's for noob. that's for noob. Yeah, yeah. Does noob play Beastmaster? Do, do they know something we don't know? Maybe could be. 
Maybe they I mean, Beastmaster is very good against Naga, don't it get is. me wrong. But uh, I feel like this Quest Esports team, they, they're not going to go for that. At some point, I almost think you have to call their bluff on LGD and just say, like, we don't think you can actually play these heroes. We'll just ban what you normally play. Maybe call their bluff at not a potential elimination game. You know, you can do that in the first game of a series, but not in... I feel like they didn't call their bluff at all game one in the <laughs> sense that, like, I, I liked LGD's draft when I saw it, but uh, Quest Esports picked exactly what they've been picking. That's true. The entire tournament, so they kind of just let them have it. What if they are just thinking, okay, supports, I need you to win the lanes, I need you to play annoying supports. What heroes do you not want to see? Okay, base master then. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, the thing is, is... Amar is infinitely more likely to play Doom. You you just mentioned Doom, like, a minute yeah. ago, Rezo. So, they go for the Visage against the Morph, something we've been seeing a lot of. I mean, Morphling doesn't deal well with a lot of shit on the ground. Like, he doesn't deal with the Pugna Ward, the Naga Illusions, the Visage Birds. So, I would love to see Quest address that. Like, I would even be fine with Pango again. I would I'm like not, that a lot. I'm not a big fan of Spirit Breaker pick, just because it's a free morph into morphing, and if you don't skill Bulldoze, the hero is not the same. Just don't which, skill Bulldoze. Which you, don't, which you do have to, you know, not skill, because morphing, getting that Spirit Breaker morph is, is, is actually going to be super powerful. But I'd rather prefer, like, um, something that Liquid did today, earlier, when they picked Visage and Tiny against mm -hmm. morphing, and it, like, it looked very, very solid against morph overall. I think they can't even like fight this silencer in the lane. I don't think they will be able to touch this morphing. It's just the silencer is gonna stop their advance. What's the idea behind this Marana? They have no setup for arrow thus far. She's not the best against summons. Like yeah. Starstorm is uh, in, in theory an AOE nuke, but you can't really go that close in a game like this. Maybe to kill the Pugna Ward. <laughs> uh, so the Pugna Ward maybe build some Yules against the Spirit Breaker. Some utility item. Oh yeah, the Yules. You do want a natural Yules builder. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe, I, I guess if they pick a mid laner that they can rotate to, uh, Murana will have a purpose in the game. She doesn't mind stacking in the early game too, but they don't really have like the best stack takers. LGD has to ban the Ember. They ban the Pango themselves. Yeah, I think they have to ban the Ember. Yeah, otherwise you got the nice Ember Murana combo. Yeah, and also, like, it's a very good game for the Ember. Unless they want to pick the Ember themselves. Because they get picked out of the ban phase as Quest has overall last. Yeah, they could do that. Uh, I think nice LG would probably prefer that approach. Feels like there's very few top tier mids right now. Hero pulls. I wouldn't mind seeing Noob uh, on like a off meta hero this game. I know he likes to build his Ato's rushing mids. What is that? Is it tiny? He still has snap. I was thinking something like like lane dominator that creates a lot of pressure something like a dp like we saw liquid do that earlier yeah. i mean i'm not sure they're gonna go for snap just because they have no setup in this course they have like no stance right now only doom with a blink do it tinker oh the tinker ban the respect ban and instant wind ranger pick hmm we've seen wind ranger quite a few times in the last two days on the mid lane yeah we saw kiyotaka own with it yesterday yeah i did not own with it today hmm it's definitely a hit or miss hero. Very polarizing in regards to the impact that she has. It's very similar to Slark last game where you either occupy a certain part of the map and just nobody can kill you because of win run and then you just solo kill anybody who comes into your in your wake. But on the other hand, if you fall behind where your damage is lacking, they're no longer afraid of you. So maybe they can't kill you, but you're just kind of stuck running to your base all the time. I was wrong, by the way. He did own on it this morning. It was the only game that they won. Oh, my bad. All right, so what lanes well against Marana that we would like to see Noob play? Against the Windranger? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. My bad. Yes. Uh, ladies, you know, with... Yeah. I got you. <laughs> uh, bow and arrow ladies. Bow and arrow ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in general, any hero that has this... Okay, melee hero is kind of okay, but not in a way against the current Windranger because she is universal hero and she can buy sets, but... I'd love to see DK here. Yeah, the thing Request. is, you want to contest the CS. If you're a range hero, you almost always lose to Wing Ranger because her attack power is really, really Yeah, yeah, tiny. There we go. A you wanted the tiny. Yeah, I love this Quest Esport lineup. I think it's a free morph game. I think it's a free Doom game. I'm not a big fan of Mirana support, but it's their you know preferred zone, I would say. 
Uh, the only setup they have right now is like the Tundra Classic. Tundra used to do it with their supports, but you have the Avalanche tossed straight up in the air for the for the arrow. It is a decent setup because it is a lot of burst if you manage to land it. Uh, the only thing that's going for LGD lineup is that they have a lot of vision mechanics. They have like burst, they have Naga Illusions is going to be like super easy to take uh, good, you know, favorable fights against Quest Esports. Maybe. And the quests, uh, in order to push the lanes, they have to show actual heroes to do that. So, might be because of that, LGD will have a better, you know, mid-game. Is this not like a similar recipe to Liquid versus... Or not Liquid, excuse me. This was Game and Gladiators versus Quest yesterday. Where yeah. they had the Brood, the Terror Blade, and yeah, Quest yeah, just couldn't really similar. make their moves. So, just based on that game, I think this looks a lot better than Game 1. I mean, it's not that's not much to say there, but... And the lanes are also stronger for LGD in this time around. So, it might be 1-1. One, one. It might be 1-1? One, one. might be 1-1. One, one. Very likely, it's going right. to be 1-1. One, one. So, it's about PSG LTD getting ahead on the lanes. Or should it just not lose the lanes? I think I think if the lanes go even, that just see when, it's yeah. easier for LGD to play the map okay. than it is for Quest. That should be manageable. Aurora, you agree? I mean, the Mirana has the other thing that I think is really, really useful here. You mentioned about the vision game. I think she has this Moonlight and she allows her teammate to just pick a fight where it's uh, advantageous for them because they don't have the better CC, right? But if you have Moonlight, you can kind of like notice this where the heroes are and you can reset and they are like one hero down because you have a Doom, you have a Tiny. So it's not that, uh, I would say not that sad for Quest, but yeah, the lanes definitely look stronger on uh, LGD side. Okay, we're gonna find out what's gonna happen here in game number two. It's time to head over to OD Pixel and Fog. Thank you very much, Shiva. Yes, game two here between Quest Esports and PSG LGD. Fogged. Yo. Question is, at the end of the day, is PSG LGD going to be able to make this one last a bit longer? Because yes. that game one was rough. Yes, this will last longer. There's no way that this one can be faster than that one. This one's going to be a bit more greed, I would say, from both of the sides. Amar's not playing one of these super bullying offlaners. It's a bit of a different style, a little bit more farm, so... Should have a little bit of a closer one. Should have a little bit more of a slowdown. LGD, they should be able to actually get to play. Yeah, I mean, and because and, overall, do you, do you prefer PSG LGD to draft this match? But you still kind of like what uh, Quest Esports got away with. I mean, Quest, they're mad. They're mag They're just magicians of playing like some of these certain matchups and stuff like that. But I, LGD does have some good stuff going for them there. My worry is uh, the thing of like Brezzo, what he was talking about, just this Morphling's game versus the Spirit Breaker, because he can just get this bulldoze constantly. But this lane is tough. Definitely gonna see LGD have a bit more. He'll be. He'll have to pop that attribute shift right away. Very early aggression. So PSG LGD trying to make a little bit more of a statement here. They have this visage to actually slow down this morphling. I mean, TA2000 had it, the freest game ever last game. So well, Corey. This one should be a lot stronger for LGD in the open. So if they can try for this kill instead, where's the bashes? I don't even need it. They don't. Got the right clicks alone. Planet will find first blood. Oh, and look at this approach and instantly taking out the range. Okay, try and get that creep wave uh, pushed in under the tower. Cool. Should be an infinitely better better time here. Stronger lanes and ways to actually play early. There always can be this difficulty, you know, the anti-mage when you do open it in the first two and make it your carry. Teams can't identify and just shut it down. We saw Quest do exactly that. Let's see how bottom goes. I haven't seen the Spirit Breaker Visage approach versus the Morphling, but the Visage overall we've seen has excellent success versus it. Spirit Breaker though is not the same kind of monster as like a tiny where he easily just gives you the soul assumption stacks every single it's a little bit more time. <laughs> Sorry. I'm wondering how this mid matchup is gonna go too. It doesn't feel the like the absolute easiest for a tiny. No, you are gonna we'll get sort of just constantly clicked here by uh, nothing to say. Your armor. And the first two waves very nicely set up here for nothing to say. He's got double range creep to extra harass onto new. I think we secure some denies. He body blocks him, so prevents Noob from actually getting a last hit in the mid. And we did, you know, his last game, all things considered, nothing to say. He, he was trying his hardest. Yeah. He, 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 he played the, the first few minutes that, that, that kind of lasted in the game decently, right? He got his items, he got his timings. It was just way too much for him to, to do anything about. He was dealt a crappy hand. There's only so much that he could do with it. So far, TA2000, not really feeling that. And he got the, he actually, it looks like they pulled the lane kind of behind Kaori. Guess he's going to die for this because he steps up too far. But TA2000 is getting these last hits, so eight and four on him. Kaori, Kaori will be the sacrifice. Are you going to see the same build out of these Visage that we've seen? 
popularized. Neo's actually di he's actually changing it a little bit. He's gonna go for some early Wraith bands. But every game I think I've seen, it's just like wand into Wraith band, or wand into Solar Crest. Surprised that he didn't go the wand though. Slain definitely spam spells onto you. You wanna be able to keep that soul some. So up on the, the top lane, yeah. will, we, will we see Amar and Amar be able to put pressure onto Shira? Or is Shira kind of cool against these two? He should be fine. I think the Marana pick is the little bit of the weird one for me. I mean, Omar, he's really good on like, his four position is excellent, but the Murano overall, not really the easiest hero to apply pressure versus a Pugna. Pugna just outrades you. Those feel like Shiro. Shiro, nothing to say, gonna have a really, really good time, but A2000 is actually just not down down here. Man, he's a, definitely a master classer of the, of the Morphling. He's gonna have some pretty good targets to shift into as the game progresses. Breaker, Wind Ranger, Naga Siren. Very, very nice targets. Mid lane. Pretty close, really. Yeah, actually, pretty close. Noob's doing uh, perfectly fine. First few waves were a little bit funky because nothing to say got that bit of an advantage onto him, but. He's... But not like he's gonna ever pressure nothing to say until. No, not in the lane phase. Of course, in the game. Tiny does have a good matchup with the first this win ranger potentially. Laning phase, nothing to say. Should... Yeah, what, what, what do you imagine the build will be for Amar this game? Is it going to be sort of like Vanguard still going for, for the Midas or, or something else for Amar? I would imagine so. I think he's probably still going to do his own typical. I don't think this is an aura, man. I don't know. Never really feels like it's an Amar kind of thing. He's got the playmaker from the mid lane too, right? So I think he ideally wants to, he ideally is going to go greedy. Noob, he's going to just go for blink dagger and then just constantly run around the map. Noob. To get himself the top rune. Uh -oh. Bottom lane, Nier, Nier's starting to, to sort of get bullied back yeah. by uh, Koori. Uh, I gotta be honest not, with you. He's not really getting any sort of chance of looking at the wave. I'm a little weirded out that he didn't go for a wand. He's just getting spammed. The wad stacks, they've helped quite a lot here, so. A little bit different approach here coming out from Neo, but we've seen TA2000 thriving off of it. Literally free farming, 24 yeah, 10. Not, no like. slowdown at all. No. He's got raindrop now, too, already. So he, the first three minutes actually are usually the toughest for a Morphling versus the Visage kind of lanes. He's been able to do excellent, and they might actually go for a kill here, New. I mean, they're just, they're just trading damage so efficiently in this bottom yeah. lane. It's it's too much for any planet and Neo to deal with. They're being kept incredibly low. Maybe it is the effect of also just the, the Spirit Breaker compared to being that like that big explosive tiny kind of thing in the lanes. But yeah, I, I think, I, I actually don't even know how many spells they spanned on here, but I'm sure he'd have at least 10 stick charges on. He's got any regen coming out his way. He's just down to the last tango mm -hmm. or two here. But this is a lane that's supposed to put pressure onto the Morphling, and he's just... Oh, yeah, 28 and 14, tier 2000. He, it's as if there's no heroes against him in this lane, yeah. almost. He's, he's getting everything he wants. Nothing to say in Shiro, though, are absolutely free farming in those. I guess it's just going to happen. Sack here for the... And we'll get a courier. How will Vril do indeed have that? Bit of a gold lead this time around. Here's GLGD, five minutes in. How many of the bounties? I think they got both of the three minute bounty runes, right? Yeah. Planet and Why You Smile got those as well, too. Those do add up in the early game. Early rotation coming down. Smile. Feeling like he has no purpose up top anymore versus Vanguard Doom, so maybe trying to apply some pressure on the more new. He's gonna get aggressive onto Neo, and they'll be able to get him. He is dead. Corey should go down in return, but getting this action that TA2000 is able to be favorably involved in. That should, I feel like that should not happen. I either they I mean, the pulse around as well, right? Why you smile made the effort to come down here, drops the wall behind the tower, but he's not able to get back across and do anything to save Neo from going down. That's, I mean, a Morphling who's just free farming and then he just gets experience from a kill here. Kaori does get the last hit, but now it's, there's no pressure that's coming out to TA2000 in this lane. Yeah, no, this is definitely one of the rougher sort of laning phases that we've seen Neo have. Yep. Just not able to do what you want a Visage to do. Why is he not going? I really don't get why he's not going the wand. Oh, well, I might have to look away from it. Cause I think every Visage I've seen, it's wand, triple branch into crown, and you just go for stats. A different approach. I don't feel like it's paying off for him. 
See Planet. He's uh, yep. trying to see if he can get away with the seven minute wisdom rune steal. Oh, the neutral creep is hitting him. Omar, does he see it? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's going to have to charge Planet, so we'll manage to secure the wisdom rune. Okay, all right. Looks like he has stepped up to try to steal it. Might pay with his life. Noob. He is heading over to this area, but won't quite be able to get behind any of them here with this. This by the looks of it, unless they do themselves try and make sure. a move of TA 2000. They'll, they'll, they'll know now. Could just linger around here, though. I mean, new, he stepped up. I uh, knew he's new. Uh, they saw the tiny, right? I, I don't know if he did. I think he may have been on, been the, on the side. I didn't get to see. I, I toggled a little bit too late. Okay. But new, he'll be able to. They'll, know, they'll know now. Yeah, yeah new. Yeah. Trees. They're really put the look, look. I mean, you've got planet and nothing to say coming down to this bottom lane. They want to do something about them all. They're going to hold back on the charge. They don't feel they can get in under the tier one tower. I mean, sort of similar to some of the movements early in the last game from PSGFG. A lot of resources, you know, four heroes heading somewhere, but not getting anything done. A noob. Maybe having the setup. They have the arrow, the combo. They've got the full combo. Is it enough? No, not quite. No. Nothing to say. He'll be able to head off, and uh, Parun is up top. Oh, it's a good one. And nothing to say. Yeah, he's not going risk going for it, actually. He's worried about what else could be there. So, Noob, he's still going to be able to walk up and grab it for himself. It's a big one, the hate it, rune. It's like the best rune I feel like you can find on Tiny's. This and DD pretty much in the early game. I mean, the three, those three are always the best. DD, haste, arcane runes. But this one I really like on Tiny because he's set up on these lanes. And Amar. He's free farming in the top lane. No pressure on a morphling. Shiro is free farming. Yes, the, the but, Naga's having a good game. Yeah. So potential here for, for Shiro, as opposed to what happened last game. Yeah. Noob. Gonna get in with the setup. They have the full combo here. Nothing to say. He's gonna be going down surely. He just came back. And he's back out. Ooh. That's a big kill. I mean, might be able to get another one too, Noob. Has another avalanche in a second. Tree back up. Got enough damage to take down Planet. He wants to keep pushing in under the tower. We'll get bashed. Can't quite persist. So uh, he'll head back to the creep wave, head back to the pressure he's putting onto this tier one. Amar, I, Shiro has to stop sending illusions into the top lane. Oh, I think Amar's more gold to Amar. He's just farming them. I think I, I didn't see how many it was now, but I think I just saw at least six, six to nine of them just get cleared out from Scorched Earth. We don't feed those over it. What's our number there? Yeah, it's quite a bit. Six in those last few minutes. It's not the most of a goal, but yeah, either way, it's like you want to be using these to farm, not to do nothing. If you're just feeding your illusions off cooldown, you're not going to be able to get that accelerated net worth that you want versus a Morphling. And again, look at mid. Nothing to say. He steps up, he gets caught in the avalanche. Good the toss is there to follow up as well as the arrow. He's going to tick down low to the curse. He should be fine. Uh, still, he's having a, he's, he's going to have to he's probably take go back, back to the base again. Yeah. He just got back out here. <laughs> Oh boy. Having the supports hang around like this now, Omar and Kaori, it's, it's causing issues for nothing to say. He was having a pretty good start, pretty good lane against Noob, but starting to slow down a bit with this pressure that they're putting on mid. I mean, this is just really big brain stuff really from Quest. They're just like the only person who can actually pressure the lanes and anybody at this point is nothing to say. So it oh, should get Kaori here. Should get it. Straight in with the focus fire. We'll be able to get a bit of revenge for, for the pressure the supports of Quest Esports have been applying to a mid. But Owen, those five kills, it's all on Kaori. So... That doesn't oh, we've, feel that we've great. We've seen that story seen before with before. Quest, right? Yeah, he's he's good at dying. He's good at making the space for his course to get yeah. these absolute free side lanes, and it, it is those free side lanes right now. TA two thousand in the Doom, cruising. Kiari, okay, puts himself down bottom to protect. Might even be able to get planted. That goes straight for him. Easy damage. Birds. TA two thousand. He's perfectly fine. This is a this is a he just summoned these. You're gonna be able to farm them. Nah, okay. yeah, he can't. Yeah, to get 2000 doesn't try. Thought he might. Max wait for him. Cool. That's a, some insane burst damage. I mean, we saw how, I think Planet was kind of caught by surprise yeah. how quickly he went down on the Spirit Breaker. I like to see the difference of what players do, because sometimes it's like a 0 4 2 build or something like that. So prioritizing putting more points in waveform for just magical burst, because I guess he can get involved a little bit early to get some kills too. Like he can even threaten like, the Wind Ranger and the Naga early on if he does see an opportunity. Hey, they're farming. They're just, they're absolutely free farming on quest. Shiro's still farming, but I feel like it doesn't feel great if it's just him. Multi-core scaling lineup and quest to set themselves up. Noob has Blink Dagger. I feel like for quest, they're going to accelerate things here while they have this morphling free farming. Yeah, they've got great heroes to hunt with. Even if it is just, yeah, Noob and Omar. Oh. Kaori again. Nice heroes. <laughs> like he'll be the one to take it. Six deaths. And they will be able to get a tower off of this. And the two of one in trouble. 
And it's going to hang around. The fortifications, see if they want to bring anyone over to try and hold this tower. Against the push of the tiny and that the Marana might be. Might be something that they don't want to sign up for right now. PSG, OGD, especially this noob, indeed, will be ready to jump. They're going to try to in. set up on top. They're going to need probably the fourth hero. Yeah, they're getting the charge coming in. Shut down Amar. Is there rotations? The net to set things up. TP's going to be coming in immediately, but Amar completely surrounded. Not tanky enough. Not a chance for him there. They, they get themselves, you know, outside of the core. He kills finally a, a big core kill here for PSG, OGD. Midas is up too. I know you always like to see that. Feels bad, yeah. 20 <laughs> seconds of inefficiency. It was honestly like the bash comes into play massively there. There could be maybe a situation where you stick lotuses and then it hurricanes himself and see some kind of weird stuff. Probably still dies, but maybe they get some type of trade. So got to love these bashes. Down on the bottom half of the map now, nothing to say. He's, he's got Neo and why you smile with him. Okay. West. Noob has his blink dagger, so he's gonna look to strike down here. They have a ward set up. Yeah, as they well. see all of this. Oh, this this could Ooh. be a trap. Can he use the moonlight? Set the trap on LGD. They're not gonna expect this moonlight play down here. I mean, Nia's in trouble. The, the scan does hit onto Noob, so they know that Noob's swinging over. As they start, on top of they them. start the action. Corey's gonna put the global. See if they can burst through news up to the high ground, but they'll get him as Noob. He might even be able to set him on a YU smile as well. YU smile is going to head into the pit, try and aggro Roche. He's looking for the denier to Roche, endogramifies himself. They'll get him as well. Noob swings over, gets the double kill. Heads up, move from quest. And they're, they're going to know now they ping that ward, but even so, not uh, yeah, a bit of a risky move to make it around this cliff. Hey, that ward is that ward is already worth it, even if it just dies right there. You can oh, just yeah. set up TA2000 and quest. He has, a, he has his Lincolns already done, pretty much. He didn't have any difficulties in the lane, and now in mid game, he, this Lincoln's is incredible. This game, playing versus charge, you're never going to be easily set up on playing versus focus fire shackle, etc. Very early pickup for TA2000. Does not look easy for PSG LGD. Nope. A bit of a risk here to jump in for the arcane rune. They'll want to punish this. And they finish him off. NTS is kiting him. They've got him. That's a big kill. Yeah. Noob's taken out, gets punished for the jump forward to grab the arcane rune. That's his Atos, so nothing to say. Exactly how they want to enable him to be able to get these aggressive plays. And they set up for a tower too here. Should be able to. Yeah, I think with Noob out for 15 seconds. Quest, they, they won't have the resources to put towards mid. TA2000 is going to want to keep farming bottom. It's 10 seconds for the tiny. Hug the blasts. Looks like they should be able to. All right, good hit. Space being made for Shiro. You got a TA2000 problem. Amar is still farming very, very decently. Only died that once. Outside of that, he's going to be okay. He's just going to try and get this Octarine as soon as he can. They're just playing it greedy. Yeah, he pretty much has it done, right? needs yeah, one more small little component for it and oh we'll find a courier oh, looks like oh i'll give him an extra bit of money and that oh, did that's... have uh i bought a cup here on so uh, well he's not close to anything like that. it wasn't just close. yet that's always nice to have a bit of a helpful mana absolutely you jump and he won't get it Shiro is getting some very very good farm quest i mean they used the moonlight but they, they should be aware i mean they, this was popped while samar was still on the wave yeah. so Shiro should be uh full retreat ward they see him see the real one yeah Shiro is <laughs> He's sticking around. It's a little deep now, though. Omar's trying to get on top of him. Yeah, yeah, heal song. And they're actually they're TPing in to go for a kill here. They've got the charge on Omar. Looks like they'll settle for just the Marana. They won't be able to find more, but they will be able to get something. As Omar. Nice kill. Left behind. Give it to NTS. I mean, he was trying to see if he could lead in for more, maybe get some control with the familiars. Corey has been split from the rest of the team. Ooh. He's going to have to hide and hope that he gets away with his TP. He will. They he won't will. have eyes on him. Very good movements in these last three minutes or so from PSG LGD. Getting some very, very necessary. Well, they're going to see Noob. Oh, wow. Well, oh, oh. Going to step and take the watch. He's going to get a bit of a nasty surprise. Noob. There's a lot of heroes here waiting for him. And uh, he is incredibly dead. Caught in the net. Completely surrounded. Bash is coming in. Shiro tries to turn back in to Big take stop. the kill, but it will end up just going the way of Neo. Still, though, a dead tiny. This is it's slowing down the flow that you want to be hitting with this mid tiny. No Noob at the moment. He's lowest at the cores. Back to back deaths with his blink reveal. You gonna pump up Shiro's mana? Yeah, I was, I was like, Shiro's low, come on, why? Fill up his Naga Siren back up the full and continuous push around these towers. LGD getting, LGD getting the ball rolling. They take these towers quick too with the Pugna Visage. 
Noob, that's yeah, two times now where he dies, and it's almost immediately that these towers do get taken out. Yeah, it feels like very quickly this game, if Noob sort of has another move like that where he dies, it it's going to be all just sort of on the side lane. The, the, the one of the three, right? Amar mm -hmm. and uh, TA2000 to really make the magic happen this game because this tiny could start to, to feel pretty weak uh, if Noob suffers another misplay. Another catch. I mean, nothing to say. I think that's like three. Oh, raindrop. And it's going to save him. That was real close. He he was about to say, like, that's he's really accelerating the momentum. His Maelstrom was going to be pretty close if he was able to get that kill, too. Still lingering around the top side, too. Amar and Kaori don't want to lose this one yet. We've got global backup. Of course, Doom is also ready to go. The Octarine, it's not going to feel too bad to throw it out. I like how they're sticking together here, these three. They're going to bring more numbers in. They, they want to try and take this fight. They will still lose the tower. Here's the familiars. OTA 2000. Minus him with the charge. See what TA 2000 can do. Turn into the Spirit Breaker, go straight over towards Neo. Wave form towards why you smile. Find him hiding around the trees, he will. They take down the Pugna. It's just one kill, though. Neo's going to be able to back off in time and plan it. He's away with the TP. They get the tower. They only lose the support for a PSG LGD. Great disengage. TA2, I think as soon as TA2000 turns up, you just have to get the hell out of there. And yeah, a clean disengage of Shiro. Manta Orchid's done. Can start getting involved in all these fights too with his team. There's some still really nice rotations. And I'm liking that they're sticking with those three heroes on the side of PSG LGD. The Pugna, the Spirit Breaker, and the Vicious to continue applying pressure. Noob shows mid. Noob is trying to farm this dangerous spot of the map. I they mean, they're bringing in the backup. Ooh. They don't see him? Wait, what? They ran out. Oh. Oh, no, no detection. Oh, oh, the net oh. ran out. All right. The dust in the oh, backpack. Oh, is. Planet. Woo. He does the face palm and the sorry because the dust yeah. is in the bags. Well, Noob, he is, uh, he's going to feel pretty lucky about that one, getting away from uh, that three hero attempt in mid. He just walks out of there. Had to keep walking because uh, Corey's in trouble. Uh, Noob will not want to show himself unless he feels strong with TA2000 by his side. He might try to jump back in. He's thinking about it. Get away from 4 TA2000. Instantly close the gap onto planet. They want another one. Noob. The jump forward. Get the avalanche. Arrow won't connect. New. Mars here. And he's going to have a bit of a nasty surprise with the Doom on the high ground. New. He'll still go down as TA2000 cleaning up the kills. Double kill for the morph. Hey, Noob. Really pushing the limits there. <laughs> a third <laughs> death would have been way like that. That's pretty wild. A third death would have been pretty brutal. Yeah. Like he gets his blink, he gets like a timing in this. We'll see it again here. Everything. I mean, you know what? You can farm this dangerous spot of the map when you know you got the backup of a moonlight shadow, and you know the enemy, they didn't have detection ready to pop. And you know what actually also saves him probably? The ten percent magic resist on the With all the little things, of course, coming into play there. But yeah, no detection is definitely the bigger thing that saves him as yeah, planet. I don't think we'll see that one happening again. No, they've got to be prepared. Gotta have dust. As, uh, as we've seen now, Omar, he's, he's been good to go with the Moonlights. Setting up aggressive plays and, and not hesitating. I mean, if, it, uh, if he hesitates a moment longer before pressing it in that mid situation, that would be a dead tiny. Glad we're going to get to see the full, you know, it's a much even, much more even game. We're going to get that full clash of the Naga Siren versus the Morphling. Very, 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 very close to being even on the farm. Mm -hmm. The, They're like very, very close to each other, only I mean, 700 apart. The, the, the big factor is going to be that this this game, you know, obviously one side quest, they have Amar on the Doom and TA2000 on the Morph. These two heroes are going to scale at a very comparable pace. Uh, and on PSG LGD, the scaling is going to be there for Shiro. Uh, but unless nothing to say can keep finding kills, keep finding action, he's just not going to be able to farm nearly as quick as these other three cores. So could fall very quickly into a position where a lot of it rides on the shoulders of the Naga Siren. I think most Quest, of it they've is. got the resources a bit more split. Yeah, I think most of it is. The, the good thing, though, I would say is that the supports on the side of PSG LGD also scale quite a bit harder. Right? Do, okay. Like the Spirit Breaker and the Pugna compared to... The like, Silencer is going to be great, but Marana, it's always a little bit awkward, your itemization. Yeah. You're going to go for Yules, which is great versus that Spirit Breaker and the Wind Ranger. That's actually probably the best choice for him. But yeah, this Spirit Breaker is getting quite a bit of farm. He's kind of transitioning into a mini third core with the Shadow Blade. Right? They're going to go with a smoke. Straight towards Corey. They're going to the Avalanche to hold them back. Corey does have Global if he wants to pop it. He doesn't need to. They rely on the Moonlight Shadow to separate from PSG LGD. They wanted to just get a quick one. They don't want to chase too much further. Be able to find it. Full Glyph near. I say. Right, they have quite a bit of a timing here on PSG LGD. At this, I mean, even Shiro getting very close to his heart. They can look to group up together. Yeah, I think he's going to want to. Yeah, I think so too. That timing. Heart, Orchid, Manta. You can 
you throw in kills, you can draw in fights, you can feel pretty unkillable, and you can try and get these tier twos. Yeah. Try and make some space as well to open up the map for for, for, for PSG or GD to go for the Roshan. You can look for that Rosh really, really soon. Solo Crest plus the Visage, plus the Naga Siren. If they can control the area, looks like that's going to be the call right now for them. Accelerate it a bit. And they'll kill it very fast. Quest men, and they're just going to split up. Get that farm to continue. I mean, this is such a farm heavy game. You can see Amar. He took the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> I mean, it's all about just getting gold and gold and gold on the side of Quest. How many Philosopher's Stone they can get, get at least? Get to. All right, PSGLGD. Aegis on the Wind Ranger. He can actually play a little bit more frontline now at this point, too. This is a good timing for them to play out. Very good timing. Uh, this stage, you know, they did. The kind of the hink of the creeps, it's it's only gonna fall less and less in their favor. We've already seen this 2k lead for Quest Esports start to show its head. So PSG LGD, if they want to slam this down and make sure they continue to maintain control, that they've got to push the issue now. Yeah. Gotta find something big, get these towers so Chiro gets even more of the map to control versus this morphling. Because he's not that far ahead. He is ahead. But only 800 in comparison to the Morphling. Sometimes you do see these Nagas like 3k ahead or something like that to have that big differential since you do farm that much faster with your illusions. So it's impressive that TA2000 is keeping it that close. Top, they're set up for Omar. Know that he's here. Noob hasn't found too much with his blink either, but he has kind of stopped looking for plays and farming a bit more. And he is keeping up with nothing to say. Just down bottom. Tower should just die to the familiars. They'll, they'll definitely want to want to continue to go in for the tier twos here. I mean, on the mid, Shira is going to be bringing in the the wave. Look to to try and just take these towers at a point where Quest are going to be more focused on on splitting themselves up on the map and having Amar and TA2000 continue to farm. Constricting the map is really good if you're forcing them to split up like that too because you're playing with the Spirit Breaker on PSG LGD So that's where you can start to get those pickoffs. Wind Ranger Spirit Breaker probably two of the better ones at looking for pickoffs on these sides Lingering in the area here I'm Scared to go for it TA 2000 it's gonna be time for him to fight in about a hundred gold so Aghanims it's about to be there He's got the level 18 so level 3 morph with the talent See the clash of these two, these two cores. What's it gonna, what's gonna happen with it? Because Shiro, I think almost immediately is gonna. Maybe he will actually continue for the butterfly, but we'll see. Because that they're gonna have some Lincolns that need to be purchased versus this Doom and this Morphling. West, I feel like they might smoke here. PSG they there. They're already pre preparing themselves. Yeah. KB, uh, quite a bit of timings here coming out for Quest. They have multiple BKBs and this morph Ags. Ooh. And TS. They get the opening route onto tier 2000, but tier 2000 is able to put the Manta. Nothing to say, he'll back away. Doesn't want to continue to push into this bit of a surprise that Quest Esports hit PSG LGD with. In fact, they, they just back they off run. straight away over to their half of the map. They don't want to take this fight. Look at the da look at his damage on the Wind Ranger. He actually has 95 damage when he gets morphed. Immediately just has to run. That's with Aegis. You can see that they're like, oh my goodness. Yeah, wait a minute. Be careful. Close game. Neo's gonna show again in the mid. Try. 20 seconds more fun cooldown. Edie on the Wind Ranger. I still wanna try for this push mid. There's GLGG. Mess is in the area. They have the Aegis and Shira feels strong, noob. Toss. He's gonna try for the jump. We'll get the BKB off, but nothing to say is in the focus fire. They take the tiny Deleted DD rune. The song's there. They're looking for the setup, trying to get some sort of angle. Let's see if they can focus down the squishies first. They can. Kaori's out. BKB popped by Amar. Blink off as well. So the rest of the three of them will manage to escape. Maybe not. As the roots there, the silence as well. They'll get a third kill out of this PSG LGD. Now, Very push, nice. they can bring the wave in down the mid. Maybe see if they can do some damage here to the high ground. I think Hero's dead on quest. I think Noob thought he was going to be quite a bit tankier there, but the DD on the Wind Ranger just rips right through him. I think Morph, still on cooldown, wasn't able to turn into and steal the stats at that moment. Push is commencing. You're going to have a big timing here, and they see a Mar bottom. Charge. I just built to get him too. Yeah, they're gonna go for the CP to try and punish this. They know that Mark BKB, it's on cooldown. There's the focus fire again. It's back up. It's gonna be another catch here for PSG LGD. Starting to really get into action here at this point of the game where they got their core timings. 
This was the time to bring the fights to Quest Esports, and we're seeing exactly why. Ain't nothing to say. He is heavy lifting in these last, what, 12 minutes or so. I feel like he just keeps getting pick off after pick off after pick off with Planet. Damn. And we're seeing the itemization at yeah, Lincoln's. It's going to be done for nothing to say. Planet's also building for it since he's getting some good farm on the Spirit Breaker. So they will have Lincoln's to protect. And Shiro, he's going to go for his own itemization. Almost a butterfly. Showing some struggles here now with Noob. Every single time he jumps for something, it's actually turned on them. That's been a tough game for him. It's not been able to have sort of that jump surprise impact that he'd hoped for. Nope. And it only gets harder as the tiny uh, PSG LGD getting as much farm as they have on their cores. No, no longer really any any target that's a clear jump for Noob. He, he's he's going to have to play for just sort of crazy high ground defenses, get some sort of deep toss back on, on one of them. Which they do have potential for. But it does feel almost necessary at this point. The 2000 to carry this by himself, definitely looking a little bit harder now, even though the Doom is so farmed. Seeing how much damage NTS dishes out, none of these heroes actually look tanky. Shiro. Shiro, they're going to make a bit of an effort to... He's got buddies. He's with them and... Oh, the arrow's actually going to hit him. All of LGD is going to rally around him. Yeah, they're immediately going to group up around Shiro, so West, they, they won't be able to push and chase anything. And... At the least, you know, they know songs on cooldown for a couple of minutes. Oh, and they're not finding any kills all. I actually can't even remember the last time the quest got a kill. I think it was like nine minutes ago or something onto Niu. It's just been LGD for quite some time here. Space being given for the Link. Yeah, Lincoln's is not Lincoln's one done. I believe Lincoln's two about to be done, and Lincoln's three probably soon on the horizon with the pace that this Naga Siren's able to find too. Yeah, they quest want to hit before that. Oh, they do. They, they want to go before these items go before the songs back up. They have to get some type of clean initiation from Noob with a global follow. They, they, they need a core kill. Core kill is not going to feel good for them. GLGD relatively grouped up. Tricky to get past this tier two. Not on the high ground anymore. And the tier two. They smoked up themselves, PSG LGD. Ooh, what are they going to see? They see Noob, they see Noob for a second, the charge is coming out. They're gonna start focusing towards the Tiny. Are Quest able to do anything with this information? That's that's the question. BKP will come off. He's gonna get shredded. Yeah, the focus fire from nothing to say leaves him no chance, and now it's just full retreat for Quest. They can't take a fight without their mid, especially in this deep area of the map. The rest of them, they'll back off. Great awareness, the disengage, just quick, like little movements like that get you that wraparound perfectly there to find the Tiny again. That's four in a row, it feels like, onto Noob. Every focus fire has been successful. And that was Quest. They were trying to hit and get some type of timing fight before all these Lincolns do come out, but I think that is going to be them, right? At least two of them done, almost a third, and a full hex now on Niu. Extra forms of catch now for this Morphling. They're just causing more and more issues for TA2000. I think they know that this noob, this noob Tiny is just having absolutely no game. Yeah, it's just the morph that is the, is the issue at all now. Yeah, I'm, I, and, and maybe am I, because no, Amar's maybe. farm is still very, very good. He's got 3,200 gold. Uh, queuing up the... Shiva's got. I mean, he just, he has it. Ooh. Oh, oh, they're going to see that one. He's indeed on the mid wave. <laughs> that is a fresh one. The brand new BKB immediately gets used. Uh, if, if anything, sort of fortunately for TH2000, it is around a time where Roshan will potentially respawn. So maybe PSG LGD don't just go straight to, to, to do anything about the, well, the BKBs on cooldown. It's a long respawn. But then they could have just rushed if it was fast, right? <laughs> they don't have BKB to fight it, but yeah. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> yeah. I think PSG, they're not going to rush anything before they've found Oh, no, don't do him like this. Oh, the impact move. <laughs> oh. That's well, what happened? Bullying. That's <laughs> I, we haven't seen a Doom either, right? This game? Uh, no, I don't know. No. Nope, uh, 30 minutes. It's, it's been full farm mode farm, for a farm, farm. Yep. Um, Which is paying off, you know, literally. He's got a lot gold. of money. Yep. He's nearly got a Shiva's guard. They'll actually go for the smoke beforehand. They're going to try again. Because, uh, uh, yeah, they know potential for Roshan to be up. They do not want to let PSG G LGD have this for free. But they do not have BKB more 30, 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Definitely going to be a bit awkward if they find themselves in a fight and Tier 2000 hasn't got that backup ready to press. I feel like they have to catch nothing to say. I feel like that's got to be the initiation. He is just, he's doing way too much. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Well, that's the first Doom. It happens to the best of us. As, uh, yeah. They're definitely, they're, 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 I mean, they must be feeling the pressure this game. That's like one of those it. mistakes that you only make if... If things are feeling kind of tense, 
I mean, nothing's going, nothing has worked out for them in this game with, like, literally, Noob bought Blink Dagger, and the game went downhill after he got the blink, yeah. just because he wasn't able to find I think, if anything, I think they, they sort of kind of confused themselves then, right, because they were smoked and moonlighted, so Amar didn't realize that the smoke hadn't come off him, because he was invis as well, so he assumed he was just invis, so he's like, okay, my smoke's dispelled, so this is real. Justifiable. But anyway, you're that, I mean, that, 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 that's definitely what happened. <laughs> that is definitely what he happened. was moonlighted yeah. in smoke, so he didn't realize that the smoke had not come off him. He's like, I'm just, I, they, I just look like this because I'm still moonlighted. Uh, but indeed, the smoke, had, uh, well, the smoke had not come off him. You know what? Silver lining. Doom's going to be back up almost when Roshan is, I guess. So. Could potentially still look yeah. to take a fight. As you know. And at least, you know, at least, at least for TH2000, he'll be able to have a bit of a laugh back. Yeah. <laughs> but TH2000 put the PKB in the mid, and Mar was like spamming the, the, the laugh to yep. voice lines. So, uh, you know, TH2000 probably gets a little giggle back and was like, what are you doing? They have some, they have some, they're definitely like very close friends. I've, I've actually seen them like hanging out quite a bit here. And I, I love the way that they definitely give each other shit for problems. It's definitely a team that does that. Yeah. But yeah, they're, they're definitely fortunate that uh, the Roshan was the longer respawn. They might actually still have a bit of time to, mm -hmm. to go for another move like that, Quest Esports. Roshan's going to be back up now, of course. Shiro, he's he's still deciding. He's just switching between Lincolns and Hex. I think he might feel like the two Lincolns that they already have on the on the Spirit Breaker and the Wind Ranger might just be enough. And just getting more, more and more control to just make sure this Morphling doesn't even do anything anyway. Rosh. Builds just get, set this one up for free. Doesn't look, doesn't look like Quest Esports are going to try and uh, make another move out on the map in time. They'll just try and uh, stabilize things around the base, keep those that mid lane and the top lane pushed out as much as possible. And, uh, prepare themselves for the inevitable high ground defense. Where's PSG OGD? This is going to be coming in now as the Aegis is claimed on Shiro. Nothing to say, we'll grab the cheese. I always, I'm always just like, it looked like he, the Wind Ranger was going to take it, but then, yeah, he just snatches it away. Maybe that was the initial. They've got a charge on Amar, but uh, yeah, they'll, they'll stop that. Uh, good. They know that Amar's got back up around. Uh, he is a hard kill. He, BKB, shield well, guard. To an extent. If the Wind Ranger's there, definitely not. I mean, yeah, if, if nothing to say is here, he's going to kill anybody. Definitely feels like that. There's just little things they can do to, to keep him off of his targets. Uh, yeah, Aghanim's for him. Just 250 gold away on the Wind Ranger. So it's his bracer. Big timing. PSG LGD with this one. A, a potentially even... I mean, he doesn't have the slot actually on Shiro for the Hex, so can't actually buy that one. But they've got everything they need, it feels like, to still look to dominate these fights. And Noob, he has not progressed at all, really. It's like BKB Echo Saber, yes, but in terms of what this provides him inside of these fights, it's rough for him. Last tier two. I mean, the high ground. Wisdom Rune in about 30 seconds as well. And my favorite, the Dragon Scale Naga Siren. Probably gonna send multiple illusions all over the place to whittle stuff. Let's lose his stats. Dire forces are attacking Radiant... Quest considering a jump. Set up with the Moonlight. He's been spotted though. He'll be able to get the BKB off. Turns with a quick combo. They try to burn through the Wind Ranger, but nothing to say. He's able to get away, and they were able to reset with this song. So they, they want to get Rico. back in. They might with the Aegis and Cheese. They're still for the pretty solid, but the Global comes out after the song. Okay. Gonna make awkward. things a bit more awkward for PSGOG if they want to get back in on this. Planet Attack. TA 2000. We'll get the BKP off. They'll charge across him. He's able to put the mantle. They force him back to safety. He's trying to escape this TA 2000. They'll probably have to bail. Let the support die. Core. Jackal. Get caught. Amar, he'll also get clipped off to the side. He didn't manage to get the BKP off. He's caught by the chain stuns. Amar's out for 70. Awkward jump for Quest. PSGL, PSGL GD just played cool. A great song again from Shiro. They used a bunch there too. They they were trying to go for this fight, but super awkward with the initiation. That can push the base now. Get the damage done. PSGL GD, they've still got the Aegis and the cheese. This top Rax is in trouble. There's no BKB Tiny. There's no BKB Morphling. How do they push them off of this? Maybe trying to find an angle for some weird kind of tossback play, but... A planet, he's just straight in. He's gonna charge straight across over the walls. Corey, Corey is able to step back. Nothing to say. He just goes in and Ooh. finishes up the kill. Doesn't Ooh. get caught by this. So this is a pretty decent. Got... Nothing to say. He's gonna pay with his life. Oh, that's a huge kill. They're gonna run. Oh, they they get a bit too uh, deep with that one. I mean, to step forward now outside the base, they might be able to get more. They get more. Why are you smart? That's the gem that's, on the deck yeah. as well. They're gonna look for more. They certainly are. They're gonna keep this chase going. See if they can find Shiro. He's got the song back up. Great song. 
Oh, oh, there up. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, goodness, it nearly caught him, but you he'll scared. be able to get away there. You kind of scared the crap out of <laughs> Oh, that was close. That, hey, that get out. Well, uh, and the barracks actually are still taking up quite a bit of damage here from the illusions, but they won't quite die. So the melee racks stay alive. It's expensive buybacks, though. I'm it was a that again. As uh, indeed, oh very close. So. Could have been closer, but very close. Could have been closer, but <laughs> closer or less. It still got us. Got us off our seats there. So yeah, melee racks remains alive. They do have to use the two buybacks. Two buybacks. Amar yeah, and Corey buys. buying back in that sort of situation. He does push back PSG LGD, keeps the game going here for Quest. Mar just can't get these Doom connections over and over again. Just unable to versus these the, the coverage. I mean, Shiro, an yep. excellent performance. Every single one of these songs. Yeah, Shiro's been, been, been perfect. phenomenal. He's, yeah. you know, the way that he's pushed him with the team. He, he's been farming in the early game. Very few mistakes being made. This is Shiro kind of full force here on his Naga Siren 305. Perfect farm. Right, telling Zhao never pick me the anti mage in the first two again. Just <laughs> yeah. pick me on the Naga Siren because this Shiro is. Yeah. It, Risen toward the latter half of this tournament, and it's had really good success and some really good answers, in particular to the morphling. Quite, quite indeed, the, the comparison between what he was doing on AM and compared to what he was able to do this game. <laughs> very, very different yeah. stories here from Shira. We get the um, we have the bounty ruin uh, indicator as well too, if we could get it for because I feel like I've seen them pick up. I want to say a majority of them. I mean, most of the map control has yep. been on the side of PSGL GD, but even in the relative early game, around like the first 18 minutes, I was watching Planet and uh, Planet and Why You Smile claiming pretty much every single one of these, and that does accrue quite a lot. It's 11k gold lead. They have 7,000 gold. Yeah, PSGL GD want to try and go for another push. Of course, they no longer have Aegis. that age of cheese, so... Aegis is 10 seconds also. It's taken out. Yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be gone before the, the next move. Quest, it's it's all TA2000, right? If they can get that supporting cast to buff them up. I'm, I've been clicking around seeing, like, the, where are the drums and the spirit vessels, and, or the solar crest in particular, because you want to throw everything you can onto TA2000. They will have a Lotus Orb that's finished up on Omar from earlier. I've got the, uh, yeah, the, the Axon, Axon Shiro here. Axon Shiro, so looking to, I mean, it's this, like, flank surrounding of these illusions plus this visage that comes in. Raxes continue getting whittled down. Well, Aghanim's also for the Spirit Breaker. Support scaling. These BKBs are no longer going to make Quest Esports feel as safe as they may have mm -hmm. before. Lots of ways to, to mess around with them through that. Charge is eight seconds. He can just use it pretty freely to just break these Lincolns. Or TA2000's Lincoln Sphere in particular. West looking to try to catch something out here, but the top illusions. Yeah, Amar's going to have to head back to deal with that one. Now Shiro the comes out from PSG. They know that Quest are likely to have been split up by by the fact that they've had to go back for that defense. Shiro did commit for his agonims. Mm -hmm. He's got this net through these BKBs as well. What are Radiant going to do about those top barracks? They might be able to get a catch here, noob. Big wraparound. Look at nothing the same planet. Might find him again. This is a gem on noob. Uh oh, he's gonna get caught. He does get the avalanche off, so slows down a bit of the opening damage, but focus fires there. BKB, it's not gonna save him. That's a gem. gem. It's the deck. The planet's able to grab that one. Corey, another Ooh. one. Oh my goodness. All right, that was way closer than the arrow. That, that, was, one a, was, that was close. <laughs> that one was uh, point 0.1, probably. Corey gets out, but now without noob for a minute. Spanoff does not have buyback. PSG LGD, a minute until we see when Roshan's back up, so they may just continue to hold the map. Until that one. Nothing to say, just had it a safe. completely out for a noob this game. Just a pick off, five pick offs, it feels like. Five times this game, and it feels like it's been the determining factor of why PSG LGD have just been completely controlling the map. Yeah, and they're, they're two supports, as you anticipated. You can see on the scaling. gold, they're, they are scaling an absolute treat. Higgins just continued to itemize to now deal with you know, the Morphling over and over again. Another Lincoln's being queued up even on the Pugna, if he wants to go down that route. Might just be able to go for a Hex also. A tier 2000 uh, is still, still big, but still getting all his items. Sells the treads, picks up his next few items. He's got the completed Silver Edge, the completed Satanic. Just can't focus fire these targets easily, especially not versus this all these summons that are kind of just wrapping around. He doesn't have MKB either. He doesn't have the slots to be able to answer all these problems of the wind run and also this evasion that's coming out from Shiro. What's Amar doing? I mean, it's just farm, farm, farm. Actually queuing up boots to travel too. 
They're just getting whittled down. The Raxes are dropping. Up melee. Yeah, Shiro, he did the, uh, so he was using ninja gear to set up, and then he swaps the dragon scale back into his inventory, just so he can whittle down these Raxes. These illusions, just having that extra little burn effect. It adds up. He's, uh, Quest is feeling forced to go out, otherwise they're just going to get mega. Yeah, and they want to take this fight before PSGOGD has the freedom to go for Rush. Mm -hmm. Well, satanic on the Morphling. Will show himself. Cloak now on TA2000. Moonlight. Passing in the night. Nothing to say with the DD. He was going to try and stop him. They're going to see if they can burst the Wind Ranger. They can't quite. The song get again. Shiro, he's ready to turn this around. They've caught the three of them. They're getting in the Familiars in position. Shiro, illusions are out. They'll try to go for tier 2000. Tier 2000 wants the BKB. Gets clipped by the charge through from Planet. LGD's disengaging. They don't want to they, fight this. They don't want to. They respect the power of Quest here. Quest has the vision advantage. They got that ward on the high ground. They saw that pesky Pugna. Even though a beautiful song from Shiro disengaged, GD doesn't want to take the fight around. Yeah, I mean, I'm so, sort of surprised they didn't want to. I mean, what, what is it that they're so scared of from Quest right now that they, they really respect in that situation, even if they have that song set up? They didn't get a pickoff in particular, right? Like, usually I feel like every single one of these, they just kill Noob right at the start of the fight. This one, not. So yeah. they're just wanting to play it as safe as possible, wait for this bug to come back. Yeah, I guess they feel they don't need to fight, right? Probably. They know, they know they've got the lead. There's no need to take any risks. They can continue this, you know, kind of chip pressure with the illusions down the lanes. And say again, getting gone on. This time? Now it does connect. Shield rune, it's taking him up. But not gonna be enough no. to survive as TA Another that catch. tears him apart. They head over towards Planet. I'm starting to see why they didn't want to fight this, Fogters. He got the doom. They're getting destroyed. This time, Amar, there's no funny business with the illusions. He finds the real one. Oh, it took him 25, 30 minutes or something to oh, find this boy. one, but they that have... They have swung at least that fight here. They've got a big momentum swing. Braxes, I believe, bottom did drop. Mid almost did too. Mid, but mid's nearly gone. They did get the but big not pick. Quite. I mean, that, that's a huge fight. Triple that's kill massive. for TA 2000. He's he's closed that gap on Shiro. Roshan's up. They're going to be able to oh, take this as well. My God, Quest. I'll see this again. I mean, nothing to say. I guess he felt pretty invincible with the shield run, and he did tank a lot of damage. The wind run was on, but once it wears off. Uh, he just gets completely annihilated by TA2000, and then just the snowball. Amar, good awareness, heads over towards Shiro, is able to catch him. Oh, did I see that? Okay, wait, wait, I need to click him up. Does he have... He does, okay. I was like, what broke the Lincolns? He does have the purge, because they had thrown the Lincolns onto him from earlier. And yeah, another it, catch, yeah. perhaps. Lucha Travel 2, it's on Amar. They're looking for another one. They, they're probably gonna get it. The Shiva's guard's there. Why you smile? He's up on the high ground, trying to heal up. Oh, he will not survive. Noob and Amar get another. And they get the rush in the meantime, and oh, that oh, is that. the that's the third one too, right? Was it? Yeah, it was. So Agonims. Oh my goodness. Give that one to Noob. He's been struggling. I think so, right? I mean, he's got the Iron Street. He's picked up the Silver Edge. Actually, he's, he's got the Echo Saber. Maybe you give it to him more. But Amar is so farmed. Oh, Amar would Amar's be... is probably a little bit better because then he doesn't have to worry about the Lincolns and stuff. That. They might be debating and talking about it. I think you might give it, give it to, to Amar. Okay. I think, I think but Amar. Noob's never going to be able to farm it. Amar's going to be able to farm his. So maybe they're debating about it, but we'll see. I think you probably give it to Amar. And you might you might be right, right? right? You know? regarding I mean, the farm we'll situation. Yeah. We'll see, we'll like, see. yeah, he's printing money anyway, uh, Amar. But uh, yeah, we're, we're seeing that whole lead from PSGLG, it slipped gone. away. It's totally gone. And uh, now TA2000, he does have the Aghanims. Or sorry, the uh, the MKB. So he ate his Aghanims. Sure, he doesn't have slot for it right now, but now hits level 25. GLGD. Be careful in these next few moments now. Yeah, they're they're going to be shaken up real bad on that situation now, bottom. That's... They still can get the mech. Yeah, they still can finish off the mega creeps though. I'm sure. just watching these illusions. I mean, they've got to deal with this push coming in on the bottom quest. They have to look to take a fight at some point, LGD, if TA2000 is going to do this. Yeah, they've nearly got that mid melee, Rax, with this dragon scale push. I mean, dragon scale so cheap. the dragon scale going to get it? No. Hit the next hit one, will. one will. So they, they finish up the melee Rax bottom. They're losing their own Rax here. Uh, so they've finished up the melee Rax mid, but they're losing their own Rax here on the bottom lane. Toss back onto Planet. Planet. Lincolns will protect him. All right. Damage has been done, though. Is that bottom set fully taken out? Holy moly. Tier 2000. He's just spending his gold. He's like, I am, I'm critical mass, baby. He's doing it all. Hasn't died this game. 8 0 5. Despite all the pressure, despite the situations where they've been losing their own barracks, he hasn't taken any unnecessary fight. Still clicking around. Where's the, where's the Agonims? Did he just sell it, I guess? I guess that maybe they talked about it and he just... Wait. No, because he... Where's his money, man? 
No, that thing where you consume and then you get the, the gold back, right? Yeah, but if he, if he did that, what did he spend the gold on? MKB. He already had the MKB. No, he bought it. Oh, he had the MKB when he had the Agnim still in his backpack. Yeah. It went some. Is it on someone's courier or something? No. Wait, wait, I mean, maybe he did do that then. But yeah, I don't know what he spent his money on. He already had all these items. Pretty sure he did the thing. Oh, he's in the base. He's in the base. What are you on about? He's sitting on the floor in the base. Amar's gone back and he's picked. Wait, what? I checked the base. It wasn't there. Okay, I'm... It was on someone's courier, so he forgot to, yeah. But no, it's all good. Amar it. has been indeed okay. uh, I was like, given, given the permission I was like, to take it. I was like, I'm so confused right now. <laughs> all right. Amar. No. I, I was thinking that they might still give it to Noob just because of that farm thing, but it's definitely more valuable on him in the moments when he's able to take the fights versus the Lincolns. Yeah, I mean, now he's, he's just super massive. He's taken the top net worth, yeah. as uh, Amar will be very happy to, to know. Uh, most farmed in the game right now. Only by a little. You 2000, uh, 2000 con contending for that top spot, uh, spot, absolutely. And he didn't need the boost of the uh, And look at this. Agnes blessing. And now tier 2000's like, I'm going to be the illusion answer. But they're still, it's whittling. It is whittling and whittling it and is, whittling. I mean, they're, they're making progress towards the mega creeps, whether quests like it or not. You know, this melee rax is probably going to go down. Probably going to see this removed from the game afterward, too. <laughs> the dragon scale. Dragon scale was buffed in 7.33c just a little bit. But yeah. I mean, it, I, I actually wonder. I mean, I'm not gonna even say. Do we have a stat to see how much <laughs> afterburn damage on towers? I'm just kidding. It's done a lot. It really has. 500 HP left in the melee. Rest will look now to heal up. But if they get any sort of pressure, any sort of opening, something, someone's gonna get in there and get the mega creeps up for PSG LGD. Yeah. But now how, it's still gonna be now up to PSG LGD taking the actual full team fight now at this point. That everyone on Quest has gotten quite a big injection of gold after that last one. They'll find Amar here, isolated. Get back up. I mean, noobs in with a jump. They get the burst on towards nothing to say. Nothing to say is going to start falling pretty quickly as uh, he's dead. They lose the Wind Ranger. And now, Quest, they could chase for more. TA2000 turns up. Quick burst over towards Why You Smile. Takes him out. Shiro go for the song. Has got the TP, so he'll escape. The Planet bottom. managed to walk away. Rax was getting pushed. They, they had the, the pop cliff. modification. Yeah. The next time round, I mean, the Ooh. Megas, they feel inevitable. Nope. They'll find another catch, it's on planet. And the gems on the ground, they'll be able to grab that for themselves. Oh now look, maybe push down a lane, see if they can even force out some of the buybacks from PSG LGD. Shiro, he's making quick moves down the mid. That was without a doom, by the way. He doomed the Lincolns that time around. They didn't need it. They were able to just stick onto nothing to say. Illusions, they're coming for your base, they're coming for your barracks. Kaori's like, don't leave, them do this don't leave it to me. I think this might be the Megas, unless someone's able to get down it quick enough. Nope. Uh, okay, they'll, they'll clear them. They'll they're clear quick. them. The bots too, Amar. He detonates them. They're living on the edge. Living on the edge here, Quest. But uh, they, they seem but the quite fights. firmly rooted on the edge here. As, uh, yeah, they're, they're killing the heroes, no problem. They're holding on and they're growing the lead. They're now up a 12k advantage. Creeps, I don't know if Creeps are going to win you the game this time around, PSG LGD. You're going to have to try to win a fight here at some point, even after you get these Mega Creeps, because they can fight them. Yeah, they're super prepared for these illusions. Might start seeing some wards be placed a little bit more outside the base too, just to catch when they're coming in. He had 2,000. How's his buyback looking? 600 gold. Everybody in the game has got buyback. The next item for sure. I guess it would be that Hex after he eats his eggs. Still curious why he did buy that Aghanims in the fights, but I guess it was just for some of these big... Op, nothing to say. Careful here. Amar. Oops, sees him. Could get the info to, to get back in onto to this. Yeah, that. The info that was charged. Yeah. We find mid. Amar, now we've got. Um, where, do, where do these builds continue to go? I guess he'll get rid of the Midas, get the refresher. Mm -hmm. um, TA2000. They're the thinking upgraded of bots to look towards next. They're thinking about top. Get it. And nothing to say he's finally got his BKB. He's held the gold for quite some time. I guess he really wanted to just maybe have some type of buyback for a play, but yeah, held his gold forever. TA2000, I think he spent his gold again. Uh, bots too? Uh, yeah, bots too. He just brought, yep. he just brought the, the fully upgraded bots. Uh, he has to answer this. Look at the birds even starting to get set up. Neo once again involved with the split push that comes out from the Naga. I don't have any creeps up there now because uh, the Quest are doing a, a really good job of making sure that backdoor protection is consistently there. Even all the wave shoved out and they want to fight. Shiro. They see him. Noob's in. He's in with the BKB. He's able to jump forward. Get the catch on to Shira. Illusions will block the arrow. Noob, his BKB running out. Nothing to say he's going to try and turn the focus fight, but Noob gets forced back to safety. He's able to put the Silver Edge. He's going to be fine. He's actually all right. 
Immediately, the Visage Birds and everything start looking for a chance to maybe try to push, but nope, they catch him. Wes doing a great job here, covering this last little Rax. Yes, GLGD definitely very hesitant to actually take any type of straight up 5v5 engagements. They want to try to look for that next item. But is that next item going to pay off? Quite a bit of a snipe there, unfortunately, for Corey. We'll lose his courier. That was it, a flex, uh, huh? Yeah, pretty much. It was. It's just a, a little bit of gold away from the Void Stone, so I'll be put on hold for two more, well, nearly three minutes. Somehow been able to farm quietly. I guess that's just the impact of the Philosopher's Stone in particular on him. I mean, what is the game plan for PSGLGD? They, they, they must be feeling this right now. Like, how do they break out of this position? They're, they're so close to getting the Megas. They, the, the majority of this game had the lead, but the last few fights, Quest Esports have been too much for them to deal with. Fights just look complicated. They look quite difficult as Noob is quite a force to be reckoned with at this point. And now Planet, he gets spotted. And he's, he's gone. Kill. I mean, they can make these moves with bots 2 on Amar. Oh, they have 80 seconds too. There's no buyback actually on this Spirit Breaker. And TA 2000's in Spirit Breaker form. So if they find someone on side lanes, they can be three heroes almost instantly there. So much farm Amar. Got the refresher pretty much done. The bottom racks, they're whittling it. They can't finish they're it. They're not quite getting it. They're not quite getting it. I mean, Quest, they're just proven to be too good at turning up in time to defend this. Hey, I, mean, they... I, I don't think these sort of pushes are ever going to get it. I mean, they, they're going to have to go for something a bit more full on, a bit more heavier if PSG OGD actually want to force these Megas. Oh, and this is where Quest thrives. They want a two-hour game. 53 minutes in there. They're, they're just getting comfortable now. This, these are going to be some crazy, maybe 10 on 10 fights that might kick off pretty soon here. Quest, they're fighting around the vision to get the board down on the cliff. Ah, uh, they are going to have a get caught by the initial hack. They're on Shiro. On us out. See, the bots 2 is coming in from TA2000. They'll take out Why You Smile. Shiro is coming out immediately from Why You Smile. Mars going to offer the BKB TP out. He's away before this internet comes in from Shiro. Look at the silence of the TA2000, but he still has the BKB. Shiro keeping his distance. Nope. He'll find Niu, though. Kaori getting chased down by nothing to say. And TS might get set on them too. TA2000. What the? He turns the room rage. He turns into the room rage. He gets the shackle, but the song's there. Arrow. Arrow is going to connect this time. As he catches nothing to say. Avalanche from Noob. As he's able to fight on with the BKB. Wave 4 4 for TA2000. They can look to chase down Shiro. Shiro's able to put the illusion to dodge the shackle. Show the illusions are out as well. He can't but run. he's completely surrounded. Shiro's going down as well. Oh, holy shit. Did you see this angle on the shackle? <laughs> what is that? TA2000. Yeah, he's in his element here on the morph. Oh my goodness. These fights just looking ever impossible. They're too tanky. Amar, he finds the real hero. He finds Shiro. The fight said panic quickly from PSG LGD. I check this out again on the replay. Oh my god. I mean, move around there. You know, we saw PSG LGD hesitating. They knew with two arrows down. This is already going to be hard. TA2000 turning into the Wind Ranger. Shackle wow. shot against them. Arrow to follow up. No escape for nothing to say. And no escape for Shiro. This has got to be rough for PSG LGD. They, they, it felt like they were in a great spot. They took so much from Quest Esports, but they didn't take everything. They didn't take enough. And now Quest Esports it down was, the mid. It was what? It was like literally that one kind of goal. It was like 30 minutes almost of LGD dominance in the one fight. It's like a 9-10k swing. Oh, cheese pass over to TA2000 as well. They might look to close. They might They're, get some buybacks at least coming the out buybacks. for them. I mean, they could certainly put the pressure onto the tier fours. Here they go. The first buyback to come through from Shiro. Corey now having his hex delivered. And then they'll settle for just the melee racks mid. Progress to be made here by Quest. So much damage done. Where's the damage from PSG LGD? NTS completely has stagnated after having such a good showing in the mid game. As you said, just one fight from Quest. A decisive one around Roche. And speaking of Roche, it's back up. Refresher shard. Yeah, I know it's really just sort of been a, a switch around in, in terms of impacts from the mid. As you say, nothing to say having the, the good good opening, the good start. But I, I, I think Noob, he went from something like two, stuff. five, and three to now like five, five, and 13. Yeah. Now these last few jumps just Getting him with the BKB, being able to play around the Song of the Siren and, and stopping it from being a successful defensive spell and for Shiro, it, it's got them these huge kills. And you can't not highlight that TA2000 has not, not died this still, game. 11-0-8. Yeah. and eight. And he knows it. He's like, well, I seen as I'm not dying, I might as well treat myself to a rapier. I, like, he's doing it up. He's been spending his gold consistently. Like, he's very confident no, that he doesn't have to go I for did. these buybacks. After, these, yep. like, after they got that, that first big fight, the catch, 
They're and in the top. Shiro. Shiro. Is there any saving him? There is not. He's completely surrounded. Shiro's out of the game for two minutes. That's that's without TA2000. I mean, at this point, it's just falling apart for PSGLG. They'll try for Corey. Corey will get chased down onto the high ground. They've got the yes. but they're losing their Wim Ranger. Nothing to say. Taken down. He at least has the luxury of buyback. And why you smile? And Shiro, they do not. They're even looking to cut off the Spirit Breaker, who is attempting to charge the mid lane. 90 seconds. No Naga Siren. New. Good luck cutting these waves. Good luck pushing them out with the familiars. They might just run down mid. Got the deck she drawing on the side lanes. All right, so they're maybe worried about bottom. So push out top, push out bottom. But 80 seconds, no Naga Siren. When he respawns, yep. Doom's back up. Amar has 10,000 gold. <laughs> this is a, 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 a TS2000 still ahead of him. Okay, so they're they're going down right. mid. They're shoving the laves with the two boots of travel on. heroes. They're buying back on Kaori. They're ending this. What can they do? Three versus five. I mean, PSG LGD, they were barely able to do anything. Five versus five. Two heroes down. It's not going to be easy. We'll see nothing to say. Step forward. He's caught for the Hex. Avalanche. The Hex for Corey. They got the lockdown on and nothing to say. Jump forward. He's out of the game. No buyback for him. Same to be said for Planet. Okay, Planet does have buyback. But that's it. They'll tap out. It's over. GG is called. Quest, take this game too. I mean, uh, wow. Uh, wow. That was amazing. <laughs> that really was. Such an amazing game. <laughs> they, 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 they do it both ways in the series, right? The question sure like, do. well, we'll give you a nice quick game. We'll show you complete domination. And then you know what? We'll give you a bit of a late game comeback. 57 minutes.